for April 2nd, 2024. We have a uh, item B agenda adjustment is removal of new business item C, which set parameters for a closing hearing. Uh, and we've pulled that to explain the reason that it was on there and the reason it was pulled uh, during the superintendent's update. So with that, we'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. We have uh, several recognitions and presentations this evening, and the first up is John Lockhart's teams and the recognition for state champion teams and individuals. So, Mr. Lockhart, would you have to come up and your we only have a few here because of the weather, and then we've got some practices going on. Yeah, I think we've rescheduled you a few times. Yeah, this is, our, this is our third go. We want to attempt to do this, right? We still need to read their names. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to... Um, like no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two here? Yeah. So this is Emma. She's on the... Livestock general. And this is Elena Medina. Okay. We're going to just read these names. Yes. All right. We've attempted a few times to recognize Mr. Lockhart, and you have Mr. Kidwell here, mm -hmm. correct? These are the BOAC teachers from South Harrison, and if you Seen our local paper, you guys are in the paper a lot. They do a lot of uh, great things and a lot of um, take the kids a lot of places. So you get to travel and do some things, uh huh. Learn a lot of different things. So, anyway, we're glad that they could come tonight. We had a few that could not be here, I think, because of the weather. So, but we had the two come, and we're going to go ahead and recognize the kids because we've done a lot and they've got certificates. And you'll make sure that they yep, get the certificates. The right people. You want to say anything about your program at all? Um, we've, we've had a lot of success, and that's because of the support of our community. I see a lot of South Harrison parents. We're lucky to have the kind of buy-in in our program that we have. Um, everything we do, it just seems like the community and in our part of the county just backs up everything we do. And that, that's across the board in our schools. Um, that's not just for the ag education part of it. So we're just very, very fortunate. These two ladies here, we're going to recognize them and give them certificates. You are Emma Hitt, and she was on the state champion uh, team in livestock judging, and I think you have parents here as well. Would you like to stand up? Parents for Emma? <laughs> We're glad you could come. <laughs> right, the other students on the state champion uh, team for livestock judging was Hope Woods, Spencer Nolan, and Olivia Baker. So that was the group that... And that's um, the first yeah. livestock judging team to win from Harrison County in over 80 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the state champion team for the quiz bowl. We have Spencer Nolan, Bennett Lou, yep. and Olivia Marshall, and Olivia Baker. So, congratulations to those ladies. This is the state champion team in food science. So what do you actually do in food science? Well, there's a lot of different parts to it. There are parts where you have to identify like different smells, like an essential oil, and they'll put it on a cotton ball, and you'll have to identify that. There are parts where you have to do a triangle test, and you have to tell which food is different, like which is the off-brand kind and the not off-brand kind. And then there's a big test you have to do about like all different parts of food science. Okay. I know that's a it's a big area. Yeah, food science. So uh, the ones for food science is Nathaniel Linger, KJ Linger, Elena Medina. This is Elena and Delaney Lowther. So congratulations to you. Uh, the Mr. Pickles, first state championship. You're welcome to come up here. It's your first state championship. <laughs> So then we have state champion individuals. Madison Stone Street was the national finalist, top four nationally for ag sales. Yep. 
And then Cooper Holmesby, national finalist for beef placement. Michael Radcliffe, national gold, top seven national for agriculture education. Katie Rogers won a national silver, top 20 nationally, sheep production. And then Holly Rogers with national farms for ag services. So a lot of great things for the kids. I'd like to find your certificates. Go ahead and see if I can find them. So you can have your certificates and you can open them. This should be yours. Emma. So, yep. And then the main I need to see. This is like a carpet, isn't it? No. It's got to be wonderful. <laughs> Let's, we'll read one of the certificates. It says Certificate of Achievement, Harrison County Board of Education Honors, and it'll be Elena and Emma. There's part of the state championship, Chiefs for Food Science, and yours is for livestock judging. So congratulations for, for that. We're going to give these to Mr. Lockhart to pass out. And that's a good Is your dad or dad's here somewhere? No way. We can't do any of this without the parents and taking them places and getting them where they need to be, right? Yep. Helping with all the trips. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for bringing me with all right, next up uh, is the Mid Mountain 10 champion WI Middle School Boys Basketball Team. All right, the, um, we have our coaches here. We have uh, Zach. Yeah, Zach Ayers, and then Randy Lawrence is the assistant. Would you like to say something? We're going to make him speak because he works um, on us. You know, this was a, uh, just a very successful season. We finished 17 and 4. Kind of came on strong, played our best at the end of the year. It was great to see this group grow from the time they were in sixth grade to, uh, you know, to end up where we were. And it, it's exciting to see where they're going to go <laughs> in the future. Well, we had, um, I think, one of our board members watched some of your games, right? Yeah. <laughs> WI. Who do you guys have here for your your families here? This all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I want to read the names of the boys. Do you want to? I don't really read the names because we. I don't think we have it. Is Graham here? Yep. Okay. Is Isaac Marchdale? If I give you the wrong one, then just give it the right one. <laughs> Sean. Adam. Very good, Sean. Brody. Congratulations, Brody. Xavier. Okay. Isaiah Calvert. Sub-Icy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Related to John. I should have said Icy. Okay. Andrew. Andrew. Congratulations. Jackson Thomas. Absent. Absent. I'm reading their real names and they keep saying, no, that's JT. <laughs> Dylan Moore. That's what? That's a more interesting, right? Elijah Holmes. Okay. Congratulations. Is that it? 
I'll read the rest of the names. I think the rest of the boys are here. What about the coaches? Jacob Clark, Parker Fair, Parker, Landon Hawkins, Dominic Suka, Jacoby Magruder, Titan Boys, Easton Hill, Will Perkins, Kale West, Luke Riley, Dyson Levake, and Say Turner. No. No. Okay. So this is all family and friends here. Grand, <laughs> stand up. Do we have um, any of the principals here? Susan, in the back. <laughs> Susan, you want to come up? Just a great group of kids. Like I said, uh, when they came in as sixth grade, we're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, really developed, and that's pretty much come full circle for me because my old high school coach is sitting right behind me here. Oh, yeah. For a rival. <laughs> I think you should be on one side and Mr. Hope on the other. You persevered right? in spite of <laughs> do, do you mind if he's in your picture? Nah. Okay. I said when the year started, he had Coach Luke Lawrence had a full head of hair. Yeah, now look at this. Look like this. Yeah. 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 Coach Randy, will you step oh. up on the, so we can see you better? There we go. They need to say champions. They're short. Champions. Champions. I'm proud of all you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Made everyone smile. Good job. Congratulations. I want to say, I want to the Central West Virginia Athletic Conference champion, South Harrison Middle School. Congratulations, boys. We're glad you could come in. And principals, we have. We, well, <laughs> hey, they started with me. That's <laughs> right. That's what I was going to say. We're here. Just the three I see principals back there, but. Not the, the <laughs> so we're going to go and just read the names. So congratulations to all these young men. Cohen Wilfall. <laughs> Cooper Sanders. MVP. Jackson Anderson. John 
Alan Michael Radival and Carter Cobb. Would you like to say something about this well, status of school board? He's, the, he's the head coach. I just yeah. did what he told me to do. Uh, the, the only thing I'll say, I'll, I'll reiterate what he said. We're, we're fortunate uh, with the community that we're in. I'm sure these guys feel the same way. We get a lot of support from our parents. Um, I literally have coached these, the majority, almost 99, even Christian, I've coached these kids that they were in YMCA ball up here on top of the hill. So I've been fortunate to grow up with a lot of these kids over the years uh, to be able to come full circle and, and, and like Randy said, and have all this happening in their eighth grade year, seventh eighth grade year. It was a huge accomplishment for them. It was a lot of work. The parents drug them around all summer long when we were playing in different stuff to, to kind of get them at this point. Um, so I'm really appreciative of it and I'm proud of all of everything they've accomplished this year. And may I add to you that even though they were successful on the court, we, uh, Coach Joe, required them to have a consistent B average throughout the season. And they all accomplished that. So rather than wow. seeing to get to play, um, they, they, they had to have a B to play for us. So. Do you have to struggle to get a beat sometimes? <laughs> you guys never, never stop talking. She's going to ask you yeah, questions. Right. Go ahead and answer it. <laughs> I asked them about whether they have to struggle to keep their beat. And they're like, no. no, 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 no. That's good to know. Well, we appreciate uh, you guys for bringing them in. People don't realize behind the scenes that. You guys are the ones getting them where they need to be, making sure they have their uniforms and their shoes and <laughs> all that stuff. Uh, the scene, so they're ready to play for you when they get there. So, so congratulations to you all. Congratulations to the team. And thank you for coming in on this stormy day. Yes. Coaching, guys. Coaches, if you guys want to go, maybe in the back. Since you're all taller, come on. There we go.
Well, we're going to move on uh, to item D, fiscal year 2023 audit report. Ms. Here before you to present the 23 audit report. Um, I'm not going to bore you with all the details, um, but I can tell you that if you turn to page three in your burgundy binder, it you know where we were for the 22 audit, right? The worst we could possibly get. We now have uh, for the 23 audit, thanks to the assistance and the help of my amazing staff. We were able to make the corrections and things for the June 23 fiscal year so that we got an unmodified clean audit report. Um, <clears throat> when you turn to page 116, it talks about the schedules and findings. There, are no, there were no findings on any federal programs, which was different than what we had in 22. When you move on forward to page 124, We'll talk about what we do have. So you know where we were, now where we made some progress. We still have a find, we have one finding on our audit report, and that remains the same as last of the 22 year, which was the segregation of duties for the school activity funds. If you recall, my corrective action plan for that process was actually to have a plan for you by July 15th, 2024. That is still the corrective action plan that we're moving forward on. You go to page 126, we talk about the summary of prior audit findings. We have segregation of duties I just spoke about. Reconciliation of cash accounts to the WEWA system. As you know, the 22 bank reconciliations have not been reconciled, nor have they been reconciled to the general ledger. And that was one of the issues that we had for 22 and why we received the adverse audit report opinion on that. <clears throat> we completed my implementation of the corrective action plan actually in 23. And so we do not have that finding again. And as of in 24, I'm happy to say that the first of the month, all bank accounts are reconciled. Today's the second before I left um, last night. Bank, bank accounts were reconciled. There was a proof of cash completed and they agreed to the general ledger. Approval of advanced payment of commodities and services. That was a finding last year. We implemented our corrective action plan and we had no similar findings this year. Publishing of annual financial statements. They had not been published for 22. We got our 23s published by September 28th, as required. Budget revisions, if you remember, they had not been, they'd been provided, they'd been completed throughout the year. However, they had not been provided to the board for approval and therefore not submitted to the state until May of 2023 last year. We've done them all at one time. Remember, we had that big mass of, I think it was May 2nd board meeting, and I did get those submitted. And of course, the recommendation, we did that and we got them all submitted. So we don't have that for 23 because they at least did get submitted to the state. We now are doing them after the board meeting tonight. Tomorrow, I'll go in and submit them to the state. The ultimate, the untimely data collection for the single audit, that was because the audit was not not completed for 22 year on time. It has to be submitted, completed and submitted by March 31st. It got submitted. 
for 23. We go on to the little insert that you have in there, which is the management letter point. And these are some things that did not make it to um, a finding, level of finding. They did some random testing of 25 employee personnel files, and they found one that did not have a W-4. That was an employee that had been here for many, many years, and we could not locate it in the basement. It was before we even went to um, the online system that we have now. Bonds filed with the record of the county clerk. We know that. They're already filed for the current year that we're in. Drug place work verification statement. They tested 25 employees and they could not find five of those verifications for 23. That's because they were done on paper and they were not all submitted in, so we could not find them. Mr. Fullwood actually put that on for 24. It's all on the beginning of the year, the vector solutions. So everybody has this, we have that documentation at the end. Approving of the budget supplements, we already talked about that. It's because we didn't do it until May, all of last for 23. We had a little bit of a, a incorrect payment of wages. It was a miscalculation of $50. So those are all <clears throat> pretty minor things that we've already taken corrective actions to fix for in 24. The next piece, the next of the rest of these uh, management letter points deal with individual schools accounting. So they have a problem with purchase orders, where the purchase orders are not being issued prior to the actual goods or services. Um, we have had training for, with secretarial staff and with administrators um, more than once. So we go over these topics. I'll be going over this again at our next administrator meeting. The next one is consumer sales tax. You know, we don't pay consumer sales tax, but apparently something slipped through. Some sales tax was paid for from school. Record retention, they're not made keeping their records intact for all their expenditures. Adequate document, support documentation um, from the detailed itemized invoice was not there. It was That looks like that's on faculty senate funds, so there'll be a conversation with them. I have done a training with the faculty senate treasurers back in the fall, so we'll be touching base with them again. Dual signatures, every signature, so every check is supposed to have dual signature, two signatures on it, and that was found that there, there were some checks missing, dual signature on the faculty senate funds. So we'll be re reminding them of that. And then the ticket collection and sales, where they're not adhering completely to the policy about the reconciliation of the tickets and keeping that documentation. And we'll be having an additional training on that. Some other things that I wanted to bring the board up to date on that had been asked is um, we've had some issues with the dental vision third party administrator, but then we've got this resolved now. However, we cannot find any evidence of when it was actually bid. So those proposals are due at the end of this week. We also went out for agent of record for our workers comp and then also our general um, insurances and those are due April 23rd. And we just continue to improve processes and procedures to get us more compliant. Uh, my only question, this is the third year on this contract for our audit. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's up and, and I had a conversation with you where you said we were possibly going to. I will not be requesting the permission to go out for an independency Why? paper. I'll be requesting to go with the state auditor. But, but I think that still has to come through the board. Well, uh, that's, the, the way it's always worked is that, that as president, I appointed one board member to sit okay. with you, and then we review them because. Well, you know, we you don't. Know. You have to ask permission of the state before May first to go out for bed. Okay. If you don't do that, then the state auditor actually. Yeah, the only problem is that sometimes the, I mean, the CPA obviously you have CPA as a state auditor's office. You have them. They're, it's going to be a CPA either way, mm -hmm. but sometimes the pricing for the state auditor is much higher than. Mm -hmm. Private, so it's just I would. We've always had a procedure where it wasn't the finance record that chose. Oh, that's fine. It I was a three-person board. You wanted us to go to out. I would prefer a three-person board because when it comes, you know, when it well, comes to can. auditing, then then mm -hmm. you know the, the person who's whose primary you know office being auditing shouldn't be the sole source of picking the auditor. It's just me okay. as being a former. Investor. We can do whatever you want. It's just that if we are going to go out to bid. 
We have to request permission from the state auditor to do that. That has to be done before May 1st. So we have like a month to talk about it. And then if, but if we go that route, we can't then go back to the state auditor. And, and that's fine. I, I mean, just like I said, it would be different if the state auditor did your audit and there was no charge to it. Obviously it's a no brainer. Right, right. But many times the state auditor's office is much higher than what you get from a CPA firm. They usually run pretty close to the same. And I do know that state auditor. Uh, right. And I, it's not that I don't have any faith in state auditors, it's just I hate to break that routine of where we have a board member, oh, that's the fine. finance director to make that decision. And if they come back to the state auditor, would be one, and I would think we can put that together fairly quickly. Just let me know when you want me. And and you know, I guess I can. I don't know if I need to put that on the next agenda, but you know, uh, Mr. Devano was on that last committee mm -hmm. last time, so I'd like to point. I'd like to see maybe Mr. Uh, uh, one of these two right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to. Know. <laughs> so what you to yeah, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Yeah. Tucker. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. if they would be interested in doing it since you know, they, 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 this is our first year and uh, they need a need volunteer. I'll volunteer. Well, you want to volunteer? You want to volunteer? No. So, <laughs> uh, uh, we can do two. I mean, we can do more than two. Can you so more than two? If the both of you want to do that and then okay. and then two, maybe possibly we'll you and one other person from finance. And then, and then just go ahead and put it out for that. Like I said, it may come back to you choose the auditor. It's not that I don't have faith in that. It's just I don't. We've always done this to where, you know, we have a committee picking that. That way, the auditor, well, or the finance director, isn't picking the person auditing. I'm sorry, I misunderstood your direction. Okay. Originally. Okay. Yeah, we just have a basically committee, just like we do on. Well, that's when we go out to bid. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So that I mean that's what we. But we can't go out to bid unless we get permission from the state auditor. Okay. And we well, have to put that request in before May 1st. Well, and then, they, you, you and then if they give you permission to do that, then you can't go back to the state auditor. Okay. Well, yeah. then that's I'm what I'm trying to figure out. I think we put the permission in. Should we put the permission in? Yes. You're asking we, permission to go out. Yeah. No. I, I'm saying you give me the direction and we'll do that. If we, if you want to, you yeah. either going to go with the state auditor or you're going to go out to bid. Yes, but once we they're mutually exclusive of each other. Go right. for bid, we can't go back and say, "Hey, can we do mm -hmm. this?" And we've been, we've been we've been we've been audited. Right. Uh, right. I, I would suggest that um, uh, we we make a decision, um, maybe put it on the next agenda mm -hmm. to take a vote whether we want to go with the state auditor yeah. or whether we put it out. For bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. That would be my suggestion. Okay, and then at that point, I would leave it in place. Put it out for bit. If we put it out for bit, then then I would recommend it. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Smith, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Smith yeah. and Mrs. Yeah. Tucker. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Go out. Yeah. Go out. Yeah. 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 Yes. Gotcha. All right. Anything else? Any questions? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Oh, one question. The um, so the uh, fundraisers that the um, schools raise. Mm -hmm. Do we audit those? That's part of this process, and also part of what, an annual process we do it from the finance office. Okay. We, we do not audit every single fundraiser. Okay, but we audit the money that's brought in. We do not audit every dime. An audit is a snapshot, and so we randomly select. Item, and so you would might randomly select a fundraiser, this fundraiser or that fundraiser, and then we're going to check to make sure all the documentation is there, the profit and loss report, all the receipts, all the expenditures. Well, I'm just thinking in general, all of the yeah. all of the schools yeah. when they have a fundraiser, it's yeah. very easy to. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm not suggesting that anybody's doing anything. Right. All I'm saying is, when you bring in fifteen thousand dollars for a fundraiser, it's it's you want to make sure that the school gets the $15,000 mm -hmm. for the fund. Right. This is your weapon there. The policy should be. The policy is. The auditors always spent the day. I mean, you remember no, pulling school. out everything to look at. The school audits, yes. Yeah, and the auditors only select like one or two schools to look at. And they're here, the rest of it's on us to do. Okay, thank you. I bring this down to um, item four delegations. Uh, we have two that signed up, one withdrew and the other uh, 
uh, Stacy Schumann I don't see here, so we have no delegations. Superintendent's update. Sure, I don't have very many things other than I just wanted to recognize we, we, you'll see on the personnel um, agenda tonight all of the hirings for the summer programs. So I just want to, and there's nobody here to say thank you to, but the response that we had as far as teachers and staff and our, our drivers and everything coming out to bid on those positions so we could fill those and have a full house for summer programming is so important in our staff, and they just stepped up again this year. So those positions are getting filled on tonight's agenda. So I just want to thank the personnel. I mean, we came out of personnel season and then really getting all those people placed and posted and put where they need to be. So I appreciate that. And thanks to the staff for all for doing all that. There is a change from the program from last summer to this summer. We pared it down simply because we've had three years of CARES money for right. summer programming and that money is gone after the summer. So we've pared the sites down and we um, did that early on and let the uh, teachers and people know that we were paring it down because next summer that money will not be available to the extent we'll have to do something for the summer, but not to the extent we've been able to do that. So, and I, I don't believe we have facilities. We don't really have any other updates at this time. Um, I think we have a couple bus drivers. <laughs> so that's always good news. And, and I have one thing I need to bring up because it was my agenda item that we we did it just pulled off there uh, and i asked that and that was the set parameters for the closure hearing for next week and it wasn't in any way to stifle any debate it was actually the opposite it set forth that it's five minutes and it was my hope that we would go three minutes uh and two people could yield so a person could actually get nine minutes rather than five but there was some question because the closing document said five so that's why i asked that to be removed so now everyone will get five but it doesn't in that same closing document address yielding so it'll be a straight five but you know had we done it it was to give nine minutes to you know individuals that had more to speak but we pulled it off there and, and i just want to let that know that it wasn't of anything nefarious of trying to cut off debate you do have to understand as well though uh with the five minutes we can only by law go to 11 o'clock that night it, it has to cut off promptly at 11 so if it's any later than that we'll have to reconvene you know at a future meeting and i i you know, some people may not think that's bad, but if someone's there to speak that night and they don't get to speak, they may not be able to speak at the next time we set a meeting. So there's a lot of things to look out for. Sometimes when when you think you're doing, you know, something to help someone, then make someone else mad. But I would like to say that that was my agenda item. It wasn't to be anything nefarious. It was actually to to uh, assist those that wanted to speak a little longer. Mr. Mr. Amrick, you're saying that anybody that signs up that are five minutes to five, speak, five minutes. but there's what if uh, somebody says, well, I want to yield. There's no minutes. yielding because no it's yielding. not in the document. Okay. I okay. wanted to change that to three minutes and then two people could right. yield. So a person could theoretically get nine minutes, but now we're just going to what the closing document states, which is five minutes. And you'll make that clarification. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. That's straight five, five minutes. minutes. So, so, yeah. okay. Can you clarify how they're actually sign up and I mean, That's, that whole process, how does that work? And I mean, who's the same, the second? It's the same as So you can sign up online any other way that you want, and then up to 15 minutes before the And you go in order as oh, when as they as signed up, received. as they yeah. signed okay. All right, anything else in superintendent's update? No, that's all I have. All you. right, consent items. I had a request to move item C of consent items down to personnel if there's no objection. And with that, we'll take A, B, D, E, and F uh, under consent items. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, new business out of state travel study request. And it is before you there. No, we accept those. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, item B, bus driver promissory note. Those are standard with new bus yeah. driver hires. Make a motion, we accept. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion carries. Uh, item C, appointment of, it's from the consent items uh, before appointment of treasurer fiscal year 2025. Is there a motion? Um, I'll make a motion that we accept that as presented and I'm under the assumption that that will be Mrs. Khan, correct? Okay. All right. I make a motion we would go to personnel um, executive session um, pursuant to 69A42 of West Virginia Code that the board going to executive session to discuss personnel personnel matters, which if discussed in public might affect adversely the reputation of any person. And that would corrupt the original motion and take okay. right. So is there a second to that? Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries, so we'll be uh, either just the superintendent. I think just okay.
Their session. Thank so moved. The moved and seconded. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Uh, brings us down to appointment of treasurer fiscal year 2025. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Uh, legal and, or uh, personnel matters. Uh, item A. Uh, is there a motion to accept? Make a motion we accept personnel. Second. I need to recuse myself uh, for one of the summer positions. Uh, my daughter is going to be get one of the jobs, so I recuse myself. All right, it's been moved and seconded with the uh, note of recusal. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, board member comments. Mr. Tucker? No, I'm board comments. Thank you. Uh, I'm good. Uh, Mr. Hope? Uh, no, I, I'm good too. I'm, Mr. Bonham? I'm good. I'm good. So is there a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Move to second. And all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 